afternoon, everyone. I'm Mary, your exercise instructor for today's episode of Standing Conditioning. Thanks for joining me today. Let's make sure we go over a few safety rules first. We want to have space around us to move safely. So I'm you have your you need some refreshment. And have loose, comfortable clothing, uh, some comfortable and safe footwear, and it's always okay to take a break if you need to. As well, if you have a sharp pain with any of these movements, don't continue with that movement. Give your body a rest. And if you happen to feel something abnormal, like trouble breathing, chest pain, irregular heartbeat, and feeling nauseous, lightheaded or dizzy, any of those signs mean stop the routine altogether. So let's all listen to our body and do what's best for each other. So remember too, if you happen to be exercising by yourself this morning, it doesn't hurt to call a friend or family member and ask them to check in on you in about an hour by phone to make sure everything's okay. So let's get started. I'll get the music on. And we're gonna start with a warm up for all of our body parts. Let's start with our neck, looking down and upwards gently. Three more. And last one. Now side to side, right to left. Three more. And last one. Now lean the head side to side. Three more. Two. And last one. Good. Now lift those shoulders from in. Breathe in and out. Last one of those. Now let's move on to some shoulder circles. Bring your shoulders up, back and down. Breathing in and out. Two more. Now let's go the other way. Back and up, forward and down. Breathing in and out. Two left. Good, now open those arms like we're going for a nice swim. Breathe. And one more. Now let's reach back. One arm reaching back, other arm reaching back. Let that pinky finger lead the way. And now let's Bend and straighten those elbows. Straighten and push your arms behind you. Bend and straighten, push behind. Breathing in and out. One more time. Now give me a turn of your arms all the way inward, all the way outward. Inward and outward. Notice how your posture improves when you turn those shoulders all the way outward. One more. Now, wrist around and breathe. Other way, five times. And back and forth with your hands at the wrist. Flick back and forth. Very good. Now let's do some with our trunk. Let's put our arms out to the side. Let's turn and turn. Turn and turn, using those trunk muscles. Turn and turn. Getting a nice twist in your upper body. One more time, side to side. Good. Now, arms up above your head. Let's breathe in, breathe out, do a little bend. Breathe in. And a little bend to the other side. 
two. Breathe in and out. To the left, each side. And last one. Good job, everyone. Let's move on to our lower body now. So let's start with our legs. Let's lift them up one at a time from the knees, lift and lower. And one more time each leg. Now time to bend those knees behind you, like so. Bend, bend. Two more pairs. And last one. Good. Now let's do a little bit with our right foot. Swing it forward, swing it back. Forward, back. Hold on to something if you need to. And your left leg now. Swing it forward, swing it back. Opening up those hips. And one more time, forward and backward. Good. Now let's do some with our hips turning outwards and turning inwards. Right leg turns out, right leg turns in. Three, four, and last one. Now let's do it with our left leg. Turns out and turns in. Out from the hip, in from the hip. Three, four, and one more time. Five, good. Now keep your toe on the ground and make some circles for that ankle. Other way. Good, let's switch feet. Toe on the ground, ankle circles. Opposite direction. Good work, everyone, warming everything up. Now it's time to get to our cardio. I wanna make sure you can hear the beat. We're gonna stick to that, moving our feet. And remember, with the cardio, you're allowed to stop anytime. I just prefer that when you do stop, you march like this for about 30 to 60 seconds so that heart rate can come gradually down instead of just stopping all together. You wanna to bring it down slowly, okay? But I know you can do it, but just listen to your body and take a break if you need to. All right, now let's start with some breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Breathe in and out. One more. Okay, let's start with some reaching up and down as we march on the spot. Let's reach up and down, up and down. Breathing as you go. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Keep marching and breathing. Remember, soft landing on those feet. All right, let's breathe in. Breathe out. A couple more deep breaths as you get those body parts warmed up. Breathing in and breathing out. Now let's add in some heel digs to the front. Heel dig, step back, heel dig, and step back. Now if you feel, you can add in some arms. Let's add some pushes. Push, 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 push. Very good, keep it up. Push, 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 push. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nicely done. Let's walk on the spot and breathe. In through the nose, arms up the side, out through the mouth, arms down the side. Two more like that. 
Last one. Good job, everyone. Let's do some with our toes. Tapping to the side. Next. One at a time. Right toe out and in. Left toe out and in. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Now let's add in some arm movements, up and over, up and over. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and final one. Look at you go. Good work. Let's march. And breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Now let's keep doing that toe tap to the side. And this time we're going to do some punches to the front. Here we go. Right and left. Punch. Right, left. Punch. Right and left. You got it. Breathe as you punch. Eight, punch, seven, punch, six, five, four, three, two, and final one. All right, let's march on the spot and breathe. Let's bring those arms up, breathe in, bring the arms down, breathe out. Two more. All right, time to lift those knees nice and high, one at a time. Lift, lift, lift. Now, if you can, let's do some bicep curls. When we lift, lift, bend your elbows. All right, starting to feel something? Getting a little bit warmed up maybe? Good. Keep up the good work. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Nice job. Let's walk and breathe. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Two more. Keep marching. Last one. Okay, now time to do some taps with our toes to the back this time like this. Tap, 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 tap. Now let's press our arms behind us when we tap back. Tap and press arms back. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. Eight, press, seven, press, six, press, five, press, four, press, three, press, two, press, and last one. Good job, let's walk and breathe. In through the nose, reach up, out through the mouth, reach down, two more. Okay, let's try something a little different. We're going to do a little squat and we're going to tap our toe like this. Squat, tap, squat, tap, squat, tap. Squat, tap, squat, tap, squat, tap, squat, tap. Now let's add some arm movement if it feels okay. Let's make a circle going out with the arm. Keep breathing. Squat, tap, squat, tap, squat, tap, squat, tap. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
And last one, nice job. Let's walk on the spot and breathe. In through the nose, open your arms, out through the mouth, let them drop, two more. Last one. Now time to do some stepping side to side. So we step to one side, bring it over, step to the other, bring it over, side to side. Let's add some open and close, open and close, open, close, open, close. With the arms, when you step to the side, keep breathing, open, close. Get that heart right up there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Keep breathing, you're doing great. Last two and that's one. Let's walk and breathe on the spot. This time, let's bring our arms up in front, breathing in, bring them down, breathing out. Two more. Okay, let's try a little forward and backward now. One foot at a time, five, six, seven, eight. Step forward, forward, back, back, forward, and back, forward, and back. Let's do a little circles with your arms. Forward and back and back. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Other way with your arms. Three, <laughs> two, and last one. Good job. Relax and breathe as you march those feet. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Now, if you need a break, I want you to take one. It's okay. You did quite well already. So if you need to, you can just keep walking slowly like this for about a minute till that heart rate slows down. But if you want to keep moving, let's keep going. Now we're going to start doing two side steps to the left, then two side steps to the right. Here we go. Side step, side step. Side step, side step. Let's add a clap. Side step, side step. Step together, step together, step together, step together. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and last one. Let's walk and breathe. Arms up, breathe in and down, breathe out. Two more. Okay, now time to do some kicks with one leg and then the other. We're going to kick across our body to the opposite side. Here we go. Kick, 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 kick. Let's add a reach with the opposite arm forward when you kick to the side. Keep breathing. I know this one's a little tricky. Kick and reach, kick and reach. Eight, kick, seven, reach, five, six, rather, five, four, three, two, and final one. Let's walk and breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Two more. Last one. Good job, everyone. Now time to do some of our out, out, in, in. With one leg at a time. Here we go. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Feel free to add your arms. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Keep breathing. Out, and in. Out. And you got it. 
We're making our way through that cardio. You're doing great. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Keep breathing. Four. Three. Two. And last one. Keep checking that posture. Make sure you're standing tall with me. Nice and straight with the back. Nice and proud with your posture. Let's breathe in and out three times. Feeling that body warmed up now? Very good. Let's keep on going. If you feel you can, if you need a break, that's okay too. Just listen to your body. And let's do some wide legs. Keep our toe and step with the other. So we step first and then tap. Here we go. Step, tap, step, tap. So keep those legs wide apart. Your weight shifting side to side. Step, tap, step, tap. Now let's do some swinging with your arms side to side. Keep breathing as you step, tap, step, tap. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Two more like that. All right, now let's do some wide legs once again. This time we're going to pivot on our toes and punch across to the opposite side. Here we go. We pivot and punch, pivot and punch. You can do it. We're almost there. Pivot and punch, pivot, punch. Keep those toes on the ground. Pivot and punch. Eight, seven. Let's bring those punches down and across. Five, four, three, two, and final one. Let's walk it out and breathe. Open up the arms, breathe in, let them drop, breathe out, two more. Good job, now time for some knee bends. We're gonna bend those knees and pull our elbows back. Here we go, let's bend, 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 bend. Now when you bend your knees, Let's pull those elbows back, rolling and bending. Keep breathing, we're almost there. Heart rate's up. Bend and pull back. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, last one. Way to go, everyone. We're making our way there. We're almost at the end. Let's breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more. Now time to lift those knees again. This time we tap with the opposite hand as we lift and tap. Lift and tap. The opposite hand can go up straight as you lift and tap. Lift, tap, lift, tap. Lift and tap. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, final one. 
Yeah, you got it. Let's march and breathe. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Two more. Should be developing a little bit of a sweat now. <laughs> Very good. All right, let's do two side steps again to the left, then two side steps to the right. Here we go. Left, left, right, right, left, left. Right, right. Let's make some waves with our arms down, around, and down again. Down, around, and down. Down, around, and down. Down, around, and down. Now let's go back to single step, side to side, side to side. Let's do some crossing with your arms. Open, close, open, close. Cross, cross. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one, way to go. Let's march and breathe. This time we got one lap to do, if you feel you can. Let's do it together. Let's breathe in first and breathe out. Two more. Last one. All right. Now time to tap the right toe to the side and back, then the left toe. Here we go. Right, left. Now push, 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 push. If it feels okay, you can lift, 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 lift. Very good. Eight, lift, seven, lift, six, lift. Five, lift, four, lift, three, two, and last one. You did it, everyone. Good job. No matter if you stopped a little bit before then or through, the more you practice, so keep up your good work. Don't give up. And let's breathe in. Keep those toes on the ground. Just lift your heels one at a time as we breathe. In and breathe out. Breathe in and out. Now let's tap our right foot's toes, just the toes. Tap, 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 tap. Let's do the left leg. Tap, 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 tap. Now we're going back to the right. We're gonna tap out, in. Out, in, out, in, out, in. Now the left. Out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. Now keep your toes on the ground. Just lift one heel up at a time. We're cooling everything down now. So we don't want to stop immediately. Let's breathe in. And breathe out. Two more. Last one. Good job. Now time to do some with our hips. Hands on the hips, side to side and breathe in. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Now circles, pushing back, side front, side back. Other way. Front, side, back, side, front. Good. All right, let's shake it out. Shake it out. Good. Now, let's just do some deep breathing here. Bring your arms up, breathe in. Bring them out, breathing out. Again. Some shoulder rolls, forward and up, back and down. Breathing in and out. 
And let's get some water. You did your cardio. Great job, everyone. Let's make sure we get some water. Take a break. Let's get our bands, and then we'll do some strengthening with the bands. Hope everyone's okay. Make sure that you're feeling all right. And it's always okay to take a break and have a seat and relax for a while if you need to. We're gonna use our seat next. So I'd like you to get a nice sturdy chair, preferably one with an armrest or two. Hope you're feeling okay. And if you're joining me right now at the band, let's make sure that we're sitting towards the front of our chair. So we're not up against our backrest. You wanna slide forward. And we'll start by using our back muscles. Hold the band a little more than shoulder width apart. If you wanna wrap it around your hands so you don't have to grab with your fingers the whole time, that works as well. Bring the band up, breathing in, pull it down and apart, breathing out behind you. If you find it difficult to pull it down and apart behind you, you could try it in the front. Now remember, you want to, uh, you want to be pulling down and apart till your arms are horizontal. If it's hard to do that, you can always bring your hands a little further apart on the band as well if you need to. So let's breathe in first, breathe out, one. Two, breathing in and out. Three, four, five, breathe in and out. Six, seven, inhale, exhale. Eight, nine, and last one. And very good. So now let's take that band and we're gonna place it under both of our feet. We're gonna use our bicep muscles next. So I want you to have that under both feet and grab a hold of the band or wrap it around your hands. Now keep your elbows at your sides and nice and tall. And let's breathe in first. Breathe out and let's bend those elbows. Breathing in and out. Straightening and bending. Three, four. You're doing great. Keep it up. Five. You should start to feel the burn in your bicep muscle working hard. Six. And remember, if it's too much to go to the 10th repetition, you don't have to go there. You can take a break anytime. Nine. And good. Now we're gonna do our tricep muscle. So I'm gonna turn the chair so you can see me better. Just hold on a moment. All right, band still under both feet. Walk those feet out a little bit. Uh, actually, sorry, my bad. Keep those feet flat on the ground. Straighten your arms. And let's bend the elbows now. I want you to lean forward slightly from the hips. Straighten one arm out, bend the elbow. Straighten the other arm out, bend the elbow. You can't see my opposite arm, but I'm doing the exact same thing that I'm doing with my left arm. We're straightening and bending. Leave your upper body, bend forward from your hips. Four. Looking forward, five, six. Feel that in the back, upper part of your arm. Seven, eight, nine, 
second and final one. Hey, good job, everyone. Relax your arms, shake those shoulders up. We'll move into a row next for the upper back. Walk your feet up so the heels are on the ground, the toes are pointing up, holding on to the ends of your band still. We're going to do that bend forward again from our hips, keeping our back straight so we're not rounding it. Now we're going to pull our elbows behind us. Breathe in, relax. Breathe out, pull back. Two, three, four, five. Breathe in and out. Six, seven. Hands should end up at the ribs. Eight, nine, and ten. Let's pulse. One, two, three, four. Five, six, keep breathing. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. All righty. Now we'll do another exercise for this muscle right here called your deltoid muscle. We're going to have to sit on the band for this one, okay? So let's place the band. And we're going to wrap the band around our hands or hold on to the ends of it. Now, for this one, I should turn my chair back to face you. And we're gonna be pulling our arms up to the side, keeping them straight, or a little bend if you're finding it difficult to keep them straight. And we're gonna only go up to our shoulder height, okay? So let's breathe in first, breathe out, and up to the shoulder height, breathing in and out. Now, you might need to adjust your band like I do. And remember, keep those knuckles pointing upwards. So let's breathe in and out. That's better. Two. Three. Breathe in and out. Four. Five, you're doing great. Keep up the good work, everyone. Six. Seven, slowly on the way down as well. Eight. Nine, breathe in and out. Ten, very good. Are you feeling hot right here? Excellent. All right, now we're gonna take the van. We're gonna do some standing up exercises. So hopefully you had a little bit of rest and to get off of your legs for a bit. Now let's stand back up with our band. Feel free to grab another drink of water. And this time we won't need our chair unless you want it nearby for a little stability. I'll be moving mine so it's out of the way for now. How's everyone doing? Hope you're feeling okay. Remember to check in with yourself and always remember to take a rest when you need to. And let's start by putting the band behind our upper back, wrapping that band around your hands or holding on to the ends of it. We're gonna be doing a punch forward and we're gonna make it a little more interesting by adding some footwork as well so we can work our legs too. So start with your legs apart. We want to keep the width of our legs because we're going to be doing a step forward, step forward, and a squat. I'll show you. So let's step forward with our right foot. Punch forward with your right arm. Step back. Now your left. Punch and step. Come back. And then we're going to do a little squat. So we want to make sure we have space between the legs and punch forward, okay? So let's do that again. Let's go right and back, left and back, squat and punch. Right and back, left and back, squat, punch. Let's do right and back, 
left and back. Squat and punch. Three. Right and back. Left and back. Squat and punch. That's four. Right and back. Left and back. Squat and punch. Halfway. Right and back. Left and back. Squat and punch. Six. Right and back. Left and back. Squat and punch. Seven. Three more. Right and back. Left and back. Squat and punch. Right and back. Left and back. Squat and punch. One more time. Right. Left. Squat. Punch. Good job, everyone. We're done with that exercise. Now, the next one we're going to do is a wood chop. So I want you to take the band and step on it with your right foot. But step on the end of the band with your right foot so that the long part travels up the outside of your right leg. See that? So what we're going to do is we're going to wood chop. So I like to grab onto it with my pinky fingers pointing downwards, my thumbs pointing up. So we're going to have a little space between the legs and we're going to bend the knees down and pull up and across. Bend the knees, reach down, pull up and across. Bend the knees, pull up and across. One. Bend the knees, pull up and across. Two. Three. Breathing in and out. Five. When you bend those knees, push your hips back too. Six, seven, we're working our arms and our legs. Eight, nine, and last one. Good job, everyone. Let's switch sides. Step on that with your left foot. The band travels up the outside of your left leg now. Grab onto the band around where your hip is with your thumbs pointing up. Some space between your legs. Let's bend, bring it up and across. Bend down, bring it up and across. All right, we got the hang of it. Down, up and across. One, two, three, four. Put your chopping wood. Five, six, breathing in and out, seven. Nine, and that's 10. Good work, everyone. Shake those arms out, shake those legs out, breathe. Next up, we got a leg exercise for strengthening. So we're gonna take this band, we're going to put it in the front of your thighs, wrap it in behind them, and hold it nice and tight, just like when we sit down, except this time we're standing up with it around our legs. Okay, so once we have that band around our thighs, we're going to start tapping our legs out to the side one at a time. So right side, left side, then we're going to go back. Right toe back, left toe back. Try to keep your legs straight when you go back. So right side, left side. Right back, left back. Side, side, back, back. That's one, side. Now if you want to hold on to something, you can tie a knot in your Band so you can hold on to something at the same time. That was two. Side. Back. 
back three side side four working the side thigh muscles and hip muscles and the back ones five halfway there keep breathing this is six side side back back seven eight and two more pairs to go we can do it making your legs nice and strong and last one and we'll get rid of this band excellent work that's 10 good job everyone put the band away get some water and we'll do a little bit of balance before we stretch We'll need our chair again now. So make sure you have a nice sturdy chair. And this exercise is rather challenging. So I want you to make sure you have something close by like your sturdy backrest to hold on to while we practice it. So, you can do this with your chair in front of you, but I think it's best to have it on your side. And if you need a secondary chair on the other side, you can go ahead and get one. So we're holding onto the chair with one hand, and I'll show you what to do with your spare arm in just a moment. First, let's take our right foot, and we're going to have that heel touching the ground and the toe pointing up. Now the back leg, we're going to have the ball of your feet. So not just the tiptoes, the ball of your foot on the ground. Now we're going to bring our opposite arm out to the side. And I want you to stand nice and tall. This one's tricky, so hold your chair. And let's see if we can go from the whole hand holding onto the chair to maybe the palm. We're going to hold it for 10 seconds. Try to reduce the amount you're holding onto the chair, but still keep your hand there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whoa, that one's tricky, right? So you really want to keep your hand close by the chair, even if you feel you can lift it. You really just want to have it a millimeter above. Now let's switch. This time we're gonna put our left heel in front and we're gonna take the right foot's ball of the feet. It's not just your tiptoe like this. You wanna put the whole ball of the foot there. Okay, now hold your chair with your arm. And you know what, for this one, I'm going to turn so that I can put my opposite arm up to the side. So the left heel, the right foot's ball of the foot, Okay, hold your chair with your right hand. And we're going to put our opposite arm out to the side. Look straight ahead. Keep your stomach muscles tight. And if you can challenge yourself, try to hold on to the chair with maybe your palm of the hand or the fingertips. Let's hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Three, two, one. Whoa, that one's challenging, right? Good job, everyone. Always make sure you're safe when you practice the balance exercises. Have your hand very close to your chair if you're lifting it up. And if you're not, don't worry. Just the practice alone is great. So let's do our stretches now. Beginning with a nice calf stretch. So, Let's come nice and close to the backrest and take a nice big step back with one of your legs. Bend your front knee, 
Not past the toes though, make sure it's in line with them. Keep your back leg straight, heel on the ground, upper body upright and breathe into the stretch deeply. Stepping forward, opposite leg now, big step back, bend in front, back leg straight. Good. All right, let's do a hamstring stretch. Let's hold on to the chair, take steps backwards till your head's about between your shoulders. And your hips are at 90 degrees. If you feel dizzy looking down, keep your head up. Feel the stretch in your hamstrings. Breathe. Slowly walk forward towards the chair. Wide legs, let's push the pelvis forward, looking straight ahead. Don't look up at the ceiling. Good. Let's stretch this inner part of your thigh. Take a nice wide stance with your legs. We're gonna bend one knee and keep your other leg straight. Press your hips behind you and breathe. In through your nose deeply and out through your mouth. Good, other side, breathing in and out. Try to center your body weight on the heel by pushing your hips back. Good. Okay, let's finish off our seated stretches in our chair now. So take your time and have a seat and let's breathe in through the nose. Reach up and hold the stretch upwards with those arms. And release. Now your next stretch. Gently lean your ear towards the shoulder. Relax the shoulders. Breathe. Now to the left, feel free to close your eyes as you stretch, relax. Chin down to the chest, press your shoulders backwards. Three deep inhale and exhales. Now stretch your tricep, right hand on your right shoulder, lift that elbow till you feel it and breathe, sitting tall. Opposite arm, same thing. Stretch behind the shoulder now, right hand opposite shoulder. Under your elbow, grab your upper arm, bring it towards your chest and to the left. And left hand, right shoulder. Same thing this time, just down into the right. Now I'm going to turn my chair so you can see this one better. And we want to bring our arms in behind us, thumbs pointing up, grab the bottom back part of your shoulders back, chin up slightly and breathe as you feel a stretch throughout the chest and the biceps.
And let's do the reverse now, placing fingers together, make a circle with your arms, round your back slowly, pulling the belly button inward and pulling your arms forward. Good. And now let's move on to the trunk. So let's have those wide legs. Bring your right arm up and over as you breathe. And leaning to the left. And the left arm, same thing. Leaning to the right. Hands outside your right leg, sit tall and breathe. As you turn, look behind your right shoulder with me. Inhale and exhale. And to the left. So important to stretch out the muscles. Cool your body down at the end of your workout. Now let's bring our right knee towards our chest, hug it close and sit tall as you breathe. And left knee. Have wide legs, sitting tall, breathing in and breathing out, reaching towards your feet, keeping your head up so you don't get dizzy. If you feel comfortable, you can drop the head and relax. Coming up slowly. And now let's stretch our hip. Take your right foot, place it on your left knee. If it's too Slide your foot down and cross the ankle. That's okay too. Sit tall and breathe. Remember, when you exhale, that's when you can lean forward from your hips. If you want more of a stretch in them. Lifting the knee towards your chest, breathing, feel that in your glutes. Let's switch legs. Lifting the knee, breathe. Just two more stretches. Let's stretch the front of the thigh. Now you can do this one standing up, bringing your heel up towards your bottom, or you can do it by turning to the right. I want you to put your right foot in front, take your right hand and hold on to the backrest. Very important this part that we're holding on to the backrest and the arm rest in front. Now take your left leg, slide it backwards till the toes can't go any further back. Your heel is up, you're bending your knees slightly and you're getting a stretch right here. Sit tall and breathe. Good, opposite side, turn carefully. To the left, left foot in front. Make sure you grab the backrest with your left hand for support and the front arm rest. Slide your right leg back till it can't go back any further. Toes on the ground, bend the knee and sit tall and breathe. Last stretch for the back of our legs, sitting at the front of the chair. Place one foot on the ground, heel touching toe up. Sit tall with your hands on your 
bend knees to thigh, breathe in with me, and breathe out as you bend from the hips forward. Keep your head upright so you don't feel lightheaded. And the opposite leg, and we'll be all done for today. Very good work today. Thank you so much for joining me and working hard with me. You guys are great. Keep up the good work, okay? And we'll see you next time.